Who was it that made the decision to put Brian Yand in charge of counseling police officers that shoot people? The person that brought him up was Chris Collins. So, like, what is your position? You're not the, the head. No, I'm, I'm the I'm the president now. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. So, what is your opinion on that? He's super knowledgeable of use of force. He's good yeah. at knowing what to do. So, I, said, I send him to tons of classes. He's certified so, in, in certification that no one on Metro even has. He has a lot of experience for with shooting stuff. people, right? He's been involved in shootings, yeah. yeah. And mentally, that's something that people need to talk about, you know, when they go through it. I can't relate to it, right, because I've never done it. So I can't say, hey, you I, know what, you're, shoot, I know what you're going through, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you don't see how there could be an issue with having somebody that has was. shot three people, including two really controversial shootings, being the guy that you talk to or you shot someone. That's up to the people, right? I mean, if the member says, yeah, I feel confident talking, comfortable talking to Brian, I'd really like to talk to him. Yeah, you know, that's good for them. It's Here's what my position is. But whatever nobody, they, whatever they else, want. But there are, there, the are, there are, but no one else in my unit really has been in, involved in any shootings. Mike Ramirez has, but he's our governmental guy, so he does the government stuff. But other than him, nobody has. You know, so, like I said, it's tough for me to relate to an officer because I've never done it. You know what I mean? And, and I'm not just talking about the schematics of what happened. I'm talking about the mental aspect, you know, what your family life will go through. All so you that don't stuff. see how the public can see an issue with that. Well, yeah. it's up to, again, it's up to our members, you know. It's up to our members. So the members voted to put him in that position? Our, mem our members can let me know, hey, there's people I don't want here. I want to cast a vote in the bylaws. I want them removed. There's a process to remove folks. Never had that happen. And ever everyone's uh, opinion on our department with Brian and their interaction with what they go through is always positive. Always positive. So you, is, oh, I'm sorry. Is, is every officer a member of the, the position? No, we're about 85%. Uh, 85% 85 of our officers are members and then 85% at the jail. And then we have city marshals too. Like I was talking to the chief over there. We have the city marshals also over there. Yeah. I, I kind of um, mind. I must. I must be hitting that fifteen percent because I asked about the, the thing, and I see there's like a one blue stripe. Sure. And and none of them ever ever seem to know. It is what odd that, that means. But maybe yeah. I just hit that fifteen percent every time. It is odd that none of the cops know what the thin yeah. blue line is. What's that? Yeah. It's odd that none of the cops know what the thin blue line is. Well, I, I, I ask them constantly. I, I have plenty of video, and they. They don't know. About I don't the know. thin blue line. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of funny. For sure. Yeah. And it happens. Like you said, yeah, like you said, there's 15 percent. Uh, maybe not even. You know, maybe it's like, uh, you know, I mean, you could probably ask. Well, here you go. So I was at the police cat, and where the uh, kids are going through their inspection, and he says, "Who's your sheriff?" Uh, yeah, they, they kind of freeze. You know, ah, some people, some people just say, hey, "I go to work, I do my job. I may not know who the chief over here is, the assistant sheriff." You know, uh, but. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I think everybody tries their best. But, uh, well, that's what I was asking. Well, what I want to know is, what does it mean? I mean, like, why is it a different flag than, like, the American flag? I, I've actually seen a big one up at the uh, Area Command Center up there on uh, Cheyenne way up. They have a huge one, but it was kind of busy. I never got to ask what it indicates or what it means. So would you be able to, like, kind of explain? I'm just, I can't explain the background behind it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish I could. I mean, I, I could. I could give you a a version of mine that I think it is. You know, I I, I believe it. It is the line that separates all the all the people in America that want to live safe and things like that with the people that maybe want to do folks harm, and they ride in that middle line to say, hey, we'll stand here and, and hope to protect you, and if somebody's harming you, or your family, we're here. We're that middle. We're that middle ground. You know. But are you familiar with the term Omerita? I'm sorry. Are you familiar with the term Omerita? Omerita? Mm -hmm. No. No. Yeah. No. No. You should look that up because it's actually related to. Okay, I'll thing. look it up. Yeah. No. Hey, here's the one thing you'll never hear from me saying I know everything. I'm yeah. a guy that likes to learn. Mike will tell you that. I like yeah, learning. I, I like learning stuff, man. I, don't see that as a, I like learning oh. stuff. It separates those who have been victims of crime from those who are not, have not yet been victims of crime. That's how. I, I would look into the origin of the term thin blue line because it actually means something quite different. Well, it's officers it's protecting each other from exactly, yeah. prosecution. It's well, basically uh, a. Uh, and it goes back to a, was, was uh, a documentary in the 70s? Well, there was a documentary line. in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. A PBS, I think it was. It's uh, basically the, uh, the vow of silence, is what it is. Uh, yeah. I gotta go. No, What's I, your name, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Um, 
Steve. King Ron Steve. Nice to meet you, pal. Yeah, I was going to ask, what's your name? Steve, Grammas. Grammas. Grammas, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah go to our... Whatever on the street and stuff, I mean, you go Not anymore. Our... I worked in narcotics for six years before I came up to where I'm at. Okay. So, oh. yeah, I, right. I went out and did stuff where, you know, not like the real cops are out there doing all the time. You know what I mean? Nobody does what's going on. Have a great right, day, though, fellas. Mike, we'll see you, buddy. Don't worry about that. Oh, yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Uh, after all this time, seven years, uh, it was different. Um, and the timing was just really good.